Hey guys, Jocelyn here from Fantasia Elegance. I know it's been a little while since I did a tutorial, uh, but today I'm going to do something a little bit different and show you how to actually make this Byzantine chain mail weave. And uh, this is a great weave to start out with if you haven't done any chain mail before because it is very easy to learn. Um, very cool design, it has this nice weight and drape and kind of flow to it. Um, and it's also easy because it only takes one type of um, one type of jump ring, you don't have to get a lot of different sizes and gauges. So again, very easy to learn. Um, and you can do a lot of different things with it. So here I have just a short length. If I were to continue this weave and make it longer, you could very easily do a bracelet out of it. You could do a necklace. Um, you can even do a much thinner weave, make it a continuous circle, have a cool little ring. Lots of different things you can do. Um, on this bracelet here, I basically took two short sections of the weave, kind of sandwiched them right next to each other. Um, so these are two sections right next to each other, and then I put little beads between each one. Um, you can do that same sort of thing with some earrings, just like this, and I used um, some different tone of rings, so lots of dimension that you can get out of it there. Again, lots of things you can do with this weave. Um, let's go ahead, jump in, see what sorts of tools and materials you need. As far as tools goes, you just need two pairs of chain nose pliers, so that makes it pretty easy. And uh, your jump rings that you use are going to depend on how thick um, or how, how wide you want your weave to be. Um, for this one, I actually used 3.5 millimeter inner diameter and 18 gauge uh, jump rings. And I do work with, um, for this piece I use silver filled because it's a little cheaper than sterling. Uh, it does take a lot of rings to make a... Um, even just a bracelet, and I got my stuff from Rio Grande. Um, you can check them out. They have, you know, sterling silver rings, copper, brass, whatever you want to work with, whatever's within your budget. Um, today I am going to be working with slightly larger rings than this, just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better, um, but that will make the weave look a little bit uh, wider open. I do have this handy chart here, if I can pull this on over that I got from uh, chainweavers.com, so I want to give them credit and make sure that um, you can check them out if you want to. Uh, but basically this chart shows you um, the appropriate diameter of jump ring you want to use um, to keep the same, the same openness to your weave as you size it up. Um, so for instance, if you wanted a really thick weave, you would want to get 7mm inner diameter jump rings, and uh, you would want to go with 12 gauge wire. Um, so that kind of helps give you an idea. And I will put a link to the actual um, online image in the description section below so that you can see the higher def version of this. But this kind of helps you know um, as you size it up or down what size and diameter jump rings you should be using. So like I said, I am going to be somewhat ignoring that chart and using um, just wider jump rings so that you can see what I'm doing a little better. So here's what I will be using, uh, 5 millimeter, 18 gauge jump rings. So to start out, I'm just going to pour some of these out so I have access to a little pile. I'm going to put them off camera so that they don't mess up the uh, focus. And we're going to start out by getting two jump rings nicely closed flush. So I'm just going to use my two chain nose pliers. I'm going to twist this guy back and forth a few times just to get him nice and closed so you can't see the uh, so you can't see the gap in him anymore. And we'll do that same thing with another one. There we go. And now I'm going to open one up. And we're going to pop these two guys right on there. So basically we're going to make a chain of three doubles looped through each other. So there I've got one going through two rings. Let me open up another ring here. And for this guy I'm going to put him through the same two that this guy's going through. Just like that. Okay, so now I've got two and two. I'm going to pop open two more rings here. And I'm going to put him through the two on the end. And then doing the same thing with the second ring. Put him through the two on the end. 
Okay, so now we have very simply a little chain of three, uh, three pairs. And you may find it easier to uh, help you work. Just pull out a twister or some scrap wire or whatever you want. I'm going to put that through the starting two rings just so I have a little handle to work with. I'm going to twist that close. That'll help you uh, make sure you're moving in the right direction and give you something to hang on to as you're working with your rings here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up two more rings and get those ready. And you can go ahead and um, start out by opening opening some rings and closing some rings so you have your little your little piles ready. Um, you need about three or four open ones to every closed one you make. There we go. Now the trick with this weave, every time you have a set of three, uh, three pairs like this, you're going to take the last set and you're basically going to flip them open backwards. Okay, so I'm just flipping them backwards like that. And then where we're going to place our new rings is right under these two. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. So I've got my new ring. I'm going to go under these two. And I'm going to catch I'm going to catch those guys right like that. So I've basically made a little case out of these four. And then I'll just close this guy on up. And we're going to do the same thing with our second one, because we always work in pairs with this weave. So I'm going to put this guy through the same place I just put that other one. Right next to him. Just like that. And close him on up. So now we have our first, first little set of nesting rings there. So to continue this, what I'm going to do, you can kind of speed this up by um, linking onto some closed rings instead of just opening and adding on each time. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So go ahead and get two closed rings ready. And then I'll grab two open rings. And now as I add on here, what I'm going to do is go through these two on the end, just like so. And I'm going to also add my two closed rings onto him. And that'll save me some effort of having to open and close rings to make this longer. Okay, so he's going through four now. And I'm going to take my other one and put him through the same two there, and also those two new ones. Oops. Let me do that again. I got a little tangled up trying to look through the camera screen here. So I'm going to go through these first two, and then also those two new ones. And close him on up. So you can see once again, we actually have a chain of three, three sets of two, three pairs right there. There's one, two, and three at the end that I'm holding on to. So we're going to once again do the same thing, where you take your final pair, I'm going to open those two up, and flip them backwards, just like that, and then you're going to open these up and put your new ring right through there. So let's go ahead, grab two more open ones, okay, so let me just show you that once again. We have our chain of three pairs, so you know it's time to flip these next two back. Just going to flip them back like that, and then go right through there, and grab both of those. There we go, and we're just going to close him up. Just like so. And same thing, we always want to work in pairs, so I'm going to add another ring on there. Just 
pop him through the same spot and close him on up. So at this point you've got the weave, it's just going to be pure repetition. Um, we're going to keep adding until we have a little chain of three pairs, flipping that final pair open and sliding the open rings through it. So I'm going to do a few more repetitions um, in a little bit faster motion just so you can kind of get the, uh, the flow of repeating this pattern. what it looks like after a few more repetitions. Uh, hopefully you found those helpful for getting the feel of the pattern down. And again, this is what the pattern looks like um, if you use the wider uh, jump rings without increasing the gauge. So it does look quite a bit more open um, than say this would, where you use the same 18 gauge jump rings but they're a little bit smaller. Um, and again, I will include the link in the description below so you can see that helpful graphic to know uh, what size and what gauge of jump rings you should use to get your desired look. Uh, I do hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you're curious to see how you would um, you know, finish this into a bracelet or necklace, I do have a tutorial on making a wire wrapped clasp, which you can find at my, um, at my channel. And uh, please do also check out my Facebook page and Etsy shop. Sales from there do help me keep making these uh, free instructional videos for you. Um, and the links for those are both in the description section right below. You might need to click the show more button to expand the text box, but it will be there. Uh, feel free to comment if you had any trouble making this, any questions, and also let me know if you might like to see more chainmail tutorials in the future. Thanks so much for watching and happy crafting!